welcome my friends uh, today i am going to show you how you should take care of peri wound area now this patient is uh, four months ago below knee amputation was uh, done upon her okay and this was the stump so right from about 7 day post op there were non healing wounds and discharging sinuses now the discharging sinuses have disappeared and there is lot of healing i will show you the photograph in the sub section of this video how she was looking in the beginning now you know how to prepare the wound during operation pre operatively but the importance what i am going to show you is peri wound care during routine dressings see the patient comes to us for post op dressing you know so then most of the time it happens that it is a routine dressing but we have to take the care of peri wound area as if we are doing any kind of surgery so what happened the stump or any wound or any leg any surrounding area we always close it with the bandage and we tell our patient not to wet it then how do we clean see day to day suppose we are doing dressing daily or alternate day we do not do cleaning of all peri wound area but that is very important at least once in a 7 days or if the patient is diabetic then once in 4 days you should do this particular technique and it is very simple to use okay you have to take betadine soaked gauze or betadine soaked cotton and start preparing the peri wound area okay so we can consider about 8 inch area proximal to the wound the wound is on the stump okay so we will start cleaning the area okay so here each and every portion of peri wound area is painted with betadine and that betadine layer it should remain on the skin like that only for next four days or whenever you are going to open it the dressing next time okay give me a bit here now here i am not going from center to periphery but i am coming from periphery to center because in the center there is a wound so now where is the infected area infected area is in the center so i am not take going from center to periphery but i am coming from periphery to center and i am painting the whole area this ritual as i told you in diabetic patient we can do it once in 4 days and in other routine patients at least once in 7 days all the surrounding area i am painting it with bitter she had multiple openings over here as i have shown you or i will show you the previous photographs now all those things have healed and there is a small sinus over here this particular sinus there is a cavity inside so what i will be doing i will be irrigating it with hydrogen peroxide then betadine and then applying a light pack so this particular video i am showing you only to demonstrate you how you should take care of peri wound area whether the wound is on the knee joint or leg or ankle or on hand you have to take this okay so bye thank you